morning. Well, we've talked quite a lot this morning about social media, so I'm just going to briefly go through about how we're using social media with our, with our, within our company with the launch of our new review and members area. So just to give you a bit of background about VJV, uh, we're a escorted tour operator. Uh, we, our clients are typically 55 plus interested in culture and travel, which begs the question, is this the right audience for us to be going on social media? We do know they like to talk. So um, about two years ago, we launched on Facebook and Twitter. Both um, have been operating with various levels of um, success. What we find on Facebook is that people are coming on there saying, great to find you, um, really enjoyed your tour, but also we find customers going on there asking for advice from other people. And it's been quite frustrating for us because sometimes people respond and some people, sometimes they don't. So it kind of begged the question, is there more that we could be doing with this? Could we be looking at reviews? What else can we be doing? I put that stat in there about a survey that we came across recently that said 25% of people use reviews um, from, from strangers to help determine their travel plans. And this compared against some of the other kind of tra tra traditional marketing methods that we're all using today. So again, for us, this was a great kind of factor to say, right, this is what we should be doing. But we wanted to take this further and really kind of find out from our customers, is this what they want? So we did an online survey which showed over 50% of our customers said that they wanted to have tours added to the website. They wanted to be able to add comments, they wanted to read accounts from other travellers and they wanted to be able to see photos and also see videos. We don't have video content on our site at all at the moment so this is also a great opportunity for us. And in addition to this, we spoke to our customers. We, uh, we have customer evaluation forms that we fill out um, and they tell us what they want to hear, for, about, hear from us. And also we did a focus group, but also indicated that they would like an area where they could come and chat with people they've traveled with before. So as a result of that, and with the help of Digital Visitor, VGV, VJV Lounge was born. This is a new review and members area for our like-minded <coughs> travellers to meet and discuss um, certain tours and other travel arrangements they're looking to go on. It's very difficult for me to go through uh, what a VJV Lounge is all about in the sort of five, ten minutes that I have, but just very briefly, um, on the they can rate and review tours on, on which they've travelled. They can read customer reviews with ratings. They can upload photos. They can share photo, photo albums and videos. They re can reconnect with friends. They can join groups and they can enter competitions. Uh, just to touch on some of those points, um, the, the upload, the photos and videos, that was one of the key things that we wanted to add. Customers said to us they wanted an area that they could come back to and they could upload their photos and share with travellers that they, they went on these tours with. And also for us, this is fantastic. I mean, we have image content on our site, but it, it's, it helps us grow our library. And especially with your video content, we don't have anything at all at the moment. And one of, one of our USPs is um, our special events that we do. So we hope that by having this content on the site, we can get people more, more people adding videos on their experiences, which will help in turn um, create more of an experience for people who are looking at our arrangements. We also have um, Reconnect with Friends. Again, this was uh, following feedback that people said when they come back from a tour, they would like to actually stay in contact with the people they have met. And we commonly find that a lot of our customers um, will actually travel again um, or arrange to travel at similar times as people that they've travelled before. Our, our, our clients are very much like that. They're kind of chatty people and uh, they like what they like. So it's, it, we knew it, there would be quite a, an opportunity for us here. Also about the groups, I'm going to talk about this a bit later because this is the area that we're kind of really excited about and the growth area that we think will work really well. So looking at customer engagement and how this works for us. Um, so first of all, this is the review element of the site. So a customer comes on and writes a review. That is a moderated process which then comes back to us. We then um, approve that review. The author then is notified that the review has been uh, made live on the site and links them back to the site, so it drives them back to the VJV Lounge site to see the tour on the website. With that, we have um, customer comments. So customers can engage with other members. And what we're commonly finding, I mean, it's a bit small, I appreciate, but the, the two little bits underneath there are customer comments that um, people have made for this specific rev review. And what we're finding, people are saying, thank you for that review, it was really helpful, looking forward to go, I'm booked to go next week. Or Also, people are asking questions, can you tell me how much it is to buy drinks or when's the best time to go? Some questions that they don't necessarily directly ask us. 
So again, when, when this comment has been made, the, um, the author of the review will receive an email notification telling them that a comment is made and again drives them back to the site to have a look at the comment and decide whether to respond or not. Um, and then following that, I've just put on here related reviews because for us, this is an opportunity then for us to, to put in front of that user who is looking at this review to tell them about other reviews that also might be relevant. So, you know, they may obviously be in their research days, they're looking at tours, they're looking at where they want to go, so they're gathering information from other travellers, their experiences. So we're putting in other reviews that are relevant for, for them. We've also got the send a friend functionality. I mean, this simply just allows us to increase awareness of the VJV lounge and, and the brand itself and drive people back to the site to have a look at the reviews. And then um, we have lots of deep links from the lounge into vjv.com. So the blue back box that's right at the top there, um, that allows the, the user to go through to the actual vjv.com site, which is our main uh, booking, booking site. And this really will help them to go and have a look at the itinerary, learn more about it, and uh, ultimately go through to book. Um, and then equally, on our .com site, uh, we now have reviews on every single tour. Um, this will show up to the most recent six reviews that are added. And on here, they can also drive back to the VJB lounge site to learn more about it. So going on and looking at the members area, I briefly mentioned initially about the groups. And this is the area that we're really excited about and think, think has a lot of growth potential for us. It really allows our customers um, to speak with other travellers and for us to listen and, where appropriate, speak to our customers. So again, a little bit small, I appreciate, but this is a groups area here. And uh, what we've got, we actually started this group. It's called VJV Special Events. The special events are what we consider to be our USP. So within a tour, we have certain events that go on. So um, in Jordan, we have the Luxor, sorry, in Egypt, we have the Luxor Temple event. Um, and our clients can go to these. And we have a lot of these throughout our tour. So, so we started that um, group to get members to join with the objective to kind of tell them as and when new special events come out. But we, just, we actually then started a, a discussion which says, do our special events make a difference? And you, I mean, you can see a couple of comments there that have come back from people um, telling us what they think, um, what parts they enjoyed, what parts they didn't enjoy. And it really is great for us to be able to listen to our customers and then um, look at how we can mend the product. And where I said how we can see this as growth, uh, we would be speaking with the product department and thinking about how, if we're looking to go to new destinations or create a new tour, that we can actually speak to our members and see whether they would be interested in this destination before we actually launch it. Equally, our, customer, our members are using the groups for, to, to interact with each other. And we've got some really great groups going on at the moment. The ones, one is called I, Claim the, I Climb the Great Wall of China. And we've got loads of people just subscribing up to that and putting their photos of them on China. So it's just a nice way of us to interact with them um, and with each other. With the RSS subscriptions, when um, a member joins, they can, they can sign up to receive notifications daily, weekly or monthly about reviews that have been added on a destination or a tour Pacific. Now this is great just in the, if they're in the research stage, again, not quite sure where they want to go, know they want to go to Jordan for example, but not quite sure where. So they've, they've signed up to receive notifications about the reviews that have been added for Jordan as and when they come through. And they'll be notified according to their preferences, whether it's daily, weekly or monthly, which will then drive them back to the site to see that review. So to, for us to engage a little bit more with our members, we have created member levels. Uh, these are the, the badges that you can see on the right-hand side. Um, there are four levels. Um, it is simply done for a little bit of fun, for us to be able to integrate with, so in, um, interact with our customers. And what they simply do is by interacting on the site, so if they add a review, they get some points. If they add a review with images, they get more points. And if they add um, a review with video, they get more. And that just for certain... Um, certain act actions they do on the site, they get more points and they'll progress for the levels. Um, and each level they get, they'll get a VJV exclusive uh, pin, which I do have on, which uh, our clients, we, know, we do know, like this kind of thing. We did pins before once and they, they were very, very successful. So it's, it's, as I say, it is a bit of fun. Um, in time, we look to engrow that and, and the levels, you can get more prizes. 
And the other area for us is the member profiling to deliver targeted messages. So when, again, when you, when you subscribe, you can say what, uh, what destinations you're looking to go to next and when you're looking to go. So, for example, this customer has told us that they, they're interested in going to Egypt and Tunisia. So we've served them an advert specifically for our special offers for, for, the, for these destinations uh, in the time that they're looking to travel. So it's a great way for us to get forefront of them with the right message that we know they're looking to travel in the future. And I've just put on their staff profiles, just because we're talking about customer engagement, we want to be able to engage with our customers. It's a great way for us to be able to do this. We don't want to be intrusive. We don't want to be doing it all the time. And you know, I could, I could talk to you for, for a long time about the reviews that we're getting at the moment and how we're responding to them. But uh, a lot of the time, we won't. We, we will listen. But we've got staff profiles on there. So should we respond, we are clearly responding as staff. And equally, equally, we have educational set our staff go on. And we want them to be able to come back and write reviews. And we don't want to hide the fact that they are staff. So that's why we have clear staff profiles. On, on the site and you'll see that if you go onto it the the profile images have have staff on there so uh, so we're not hiding the fact that we're staff so looking at measuring success as we all know measuring ROI on social media does have its problems but we the matrix that we're looking at is the browse time on the site currently at the moment we're just averaging at four minutes browse time the number of members to the site, the level of interaction, and when I say level of interaction, we'll be looking at the number of views that are added, the number of comments, and the number of conversations that are going on within the group. And we'll be looking at how this is helping drive organic traffic to the VJV Lounge site and the presence it has on the search engines. And also looking at the traffic to the actual the vjv.com site where the inquiries can be made, the bookings can be made, as ultimately if we know people are going through, then we know there is a general level of interest there. Currently at the moment, 20% of the traffic coming from VJV Lounge is being directed through to .com. So it's a great start for us. And ultimately, we're looking to increase booking conversions. And the way that we're doing that is we're tracking it through our web analytics and our sales team are ready to... Uh, track any source codes that come through for referrals. So it's something we'll be monitoring and looking to improve as we go, go along. So we launched over a month ago, and so far we have 400 members. We have over 140 reviews, which is covering 26% of our tours. We have 40 comments, we have 30 videos, and over 1,000 pictures. We think this is a great start, and we are really, really excited about VJV Lounge and its future, and how we can integrate with our customers um, in a more informal basis. That's it. Thank you.